In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace this steering rack and pinion bellow on this 2007 to 2013 Chevy Silverado. Let's get into it. I'm going to remove the tire, take the center cap off. I'm just going to use a rag just so I don't scratch the wheel and take a straight blade screwdriver. Pop the center cap off. Using a 22 millimeter socket, take the lug nuts off. And remove the wheel. Take this tie rod nut off, use a 21 millimeter socket. Oh, it's just spinning. If the stud just spins, what you can do is use a pry bar and just pry down on the tie rod and then take the nut off. Comes right off. And take a hammer, just give it a tap. Or you can use a tie rod removal tool. I'm gonna twist this off and I'm gonna count the threads. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 19, write that number down. 19. Now I'm going to use some locking pliers right here on the inner tie rod. Then we'll take this nut off using a 24 millimeter socket. Take the locking pliers off. Take this clamp off. I'm just going to use some hose clamp pliers. Just like that. And slide that off. So there's a clamp in here. Now we're going to take this clamp off. I'm going to use a straight pick and just get in here and I just need to spread this apart. I'm just going to stretch it. You could twist it down here to make it easier. You could use a screwdriver as well. Just pop the clamp off, just like that. Sometimes you can reuse these if they're in good shape. And I'll use a pick, get underneath here. Slide the boot off. And you can pull it off. You can get a pick underneath here just to release it. And then just pull and slide it off. Now take the boot and we're gonna slide it over. You can put a little grease on the end of it or some grease right here. Slide it on. Just like that. And then you can put the clamp on. I just put the clamp on before I slid the boot on. If you want, if you don't have a clamp or that's not reusable, you can use a wire tie and just tighten it real tight and that will be fine. Otherwise, I'm gonna use these clamp pliers and just squeeze this clamp nice and tight. That's gonna hold it on there good. And take the clamp and slide this over the boot right there. And I'll put the jam nut on. That's good right there. And take the tie rod, get this started, and make sure you count the threads. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 
And we can line that up in the knuckle. Slide that in place. Put the nut on. And tighten it up. Now I'm going to torque this nut to 44 foot pounds. And tighten up the jam nut. Just snug that up. Now put the wheel on. Put the lug nuts on. Now we're going to torque the lug nuts down to 140 foot pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Go around again, double check. After finishing this installation, it's important to have an alignment done on your vehicle. Now take the center cap on the back side. There is a little picture of the valve stem. You want to line that up with the valve stem. And tap it in place. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.